So let's talk about the sign of the sun here in Matthew 24, 30, that is said to be made to appear in heaven. Then all of the tribes on the earth land of flesh and blood will uvulate. They will eye, okay, they will see with their eyes the son of human coming in the clouds of heaven with ability and much glory when he is dispatching his angels. What is the context here? Well, this is when five out of ten sober-minded virgins enter the wedding feasts as the angels here, as the officiating spirits at midnight. Okay? And those who are locked out of the wedding will see this. So the, the mention of the clouds here it's the same context of the so-called rapture of 1 Thessalonians 4.17, which the coming into the from encounter is the same as Matthew 25.6, which is the middle of the night. Okay, so the middle of the night at midnight is the door that shuts here into the wedding feasts. And... The wedding feasts involves the parabolic watch times of Luke 12, 38, which the second watch time is midnight, middle of the night, according to the wedding feasts mentioned here. So when the virgins enter the wedding feasts at midnight, this is what's going on here. This is the second watch time, where rise first is actually the first watch time. But this event here at midnight is the same all convocation of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22. So these, who are the thousands of angels, which is myriads, are the angels who come into the wedding feasts along with those who come first at first watch time and then the second watch time, right? So, the outcall of the aforeborn ones here in the resurrection will have to prepare and adorn their lamps and become justified into the accordingly accomplished to be the justified spirits of the angels of the officiation, which is Hebrews 1, 7, right here. And they're dispatched into the service, okay, right here, verse 14. So the event at midnight is the sign of the son of the human. What's going on here is the event in the middle of the night, the so-called rapture, where then the angels that are being dispatched into the service, again, are the officiating spirits who enter the wedding feasts, both at eventide and, and midnight, including both orders here, where then these of the outchosen ones are the ones locked out who have to come into the finishing of the third watch time, which out of the four winds is a veiled reference to, where in Mark 13, 27, the parallel verse, the tip, is where Jesus enumerates the watch time orders right here. Which again, the all convocation encompasses the first rise first of 1 Thessalonians 4.16, the thereupon into the clouds with the sign of the sun. Then those who will ululate are the third watch timers locked out, who will be saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. And here. Two lords. Verse 11. Lord, Lord, open to us. Where those who will be locked out at eventide, who is the first watch time, are the context of these in Luke 13. One Lord. So we see the door, knock at the door, Lord, open to us. Eventide. And then at midnight, those who are locked out are saying, Lord, Lord, two lords open to us. See, the word of God is extremely profoundly precise. All these little subtle details have relevance. 
And most of the, this wisdom gets lost in translation, but also because people are just not seeking to understand the parables of Jesus now. That's why I keep talking about these watch time orders. This is what, this is wisdom here. Wisdom is a unique kind of knowledge which reveals times, terms, sequences of events, the, the consequences and the outcomes concerning each order here. When Paul speaks about each in his own order, he's talking about the watch time orders. Where when you come down to verse 52, with the mention of the last trumpet, well, this concerns the third watch timers. The great trumpet here in Matthew 24, 31 is the same last trumpet, right? And the first trumpet is the rise first in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. So first watch time, second watch time, all convocation, myriads of the angels, the sign of the son of human in the clouds, the foolish virgins, Lord, Lord, open to us, are the outchosen of Matthew 24, 22, according to the time of the great affliction of such a kind that will not become from the origin of the cosmos till now. And we have the sign of the sun, we have the outchosen mentioned again in verse 24 and 31. The same outchosen of Mark 13, 27 to the tips, or again, third watch timers, which is the sign given Peter, who is the thrice denier. Third watch time. Think about it. 